ドゥルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルひなたはあなたはあなたはあなたは He's not mine, it's the Wookiee. He slept with my wife. Remember, I am the source. You don't have to take it with a grain of salt or anyone else's cock. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 7 of Bombshell Late Breaking News. This is your old pal, Hans Cock. And today. We're going to be talking about more Obi Wan Kenobi. Apparently, there will be a season two, and I got some insane leaks for you. So, warning plenty of spoilers if you give a crap. If you're just here to hear my soothing and lovely voice, then I thank you. Hit the like button and subscribe. So, anyway, on to the scoop. So, the Obi Wan Kenobi series has been getting mixed reactions, but it's still been getting a lot of views. I don't know why. Maybe people just like seeing a train wreck. But anyway, we have some good news, all、oh, mediocre news, and some blah news. But. They're bombshell late breaking news. So, I'll give it to you straight. No Kathleen Kennedy involved in this one. Apparently, she is going to be fired very, very soon. I'll give you the scoop on that at a later date. But, yeah, so,、uh, e- Ewan McGregor. He's been signed for a multi series and、uh, it's going to go beyond Obi Wan. So apparently they're going to probably stick him in Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett.、Um, all that crap, apparently. I don't know. But what I do know is season two, they're going to focus more on Luke and.、Uh, You know, the kid he's supposed to be watching and not the one who's doing backflips and running away from grown men at the age of six. Well, technically ten, but she looks like she's four. Anyway,、um, yeah, so he's going to have his own hut. They're going to, I guess, get him out of that rock canyon. I don't know. They just they don't know. But I know I'm the source. Anyway, so. He's going to be communicating with his old master, Qui Gon Jinn. He's going to see him as a, as a force ghost. What the fuck is a force ghost? Anyway, it's not going to be your traditional blue, glowy one. It's going to apparently be white and have strange orbs. They're also going to be playing with new force powers. I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? But they want to expand the lore.、Um, you know, my source tells me, you know, Hans Cock, I am the source. I fooled you. Anyway, yeah, so apparently, yeah, that's the case. So, new force powers. He's going to be communicating with Yoda. And、uh, who knows?、Uh, maybe he could fly like Mary Poppins. Or wait, that'll just be Leia. 
on episode eight, nine, I don't even know anymore. But hey, I'm giving it to you straight, as always. So if you still like Star Trek, then uh, that's why you're listening to me. And if you like Hans Cock, there's going to be plenty more juicy bombshell news. But as I told you guys in a previous video, um, they are bringing back Liam ne Neeson. He's going to be in his own series. They didn't say if it's going to be multi-episode or if it'll be a one-shot. And then they focus on other Jedi. But that one's called Tales of the Jedi. Um, but anywho, yeah. It's crazy what they're doing now. And they think they could put a band-aid over it all. But old Hans Cock, I know what it's like to be a star. To be a hero. To swoop in and save the day. And there ain't anyone doing it this time around. This is a dumpster fire that won't stop burning. John Favreau tried to stand on top of it, to piss on it, to put it out. But it ain't going out. The embers, the spark of shit is still there. So, remember, if you don't like the series, and you don't like what they're building, they're just going to call you racist. They'll find some purple alien with polka dots and stripes all across him who might be in the show for three seconds and they'll call you a bigot because you don't like their shitty writing and you don't like the piss poor directing and you don't like when they mess with the lore of your favorite characters. Well, the mouse keeps telling you it's not them, it's you. It's you and your bigotry. This is Pride Month. And you gotta be accepting towards all Latino exes. And all midgets. And all Ewoks of the same breed. I don't know. But this is what they're gonna tell you. Allegedly in a video game. But thank you everyone. Till next time. This is what Hollywood does. If something bombs... They pull out the whole uh, racism card. They're blowing their trumpets. Old Hancock, I told it to you straight. No BS, you get nothing but the facts with me. So stick around for even more juicy bombshell news in all entertainment. Star Wars. DC, Marvel, you name it. You're going to get it all right here from your old pal, Hans Cock. I also wanted to support my good friend, Vinny Tartamella. He's got a fantastic project out right now called Shadow of the Kraken. It's on Indiegogo. So if you're looking for great stories and fantastic artwork it's an amazing pirate story it's a classical pirate story that also has some supernatural elements fantastic series please consider supporting my good friend Vinny and all of the beautiful work he does thank you very much until next time everyone remember to stay angry and consume, consume, consume. do <laughs> 
Wow!